hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> When you're gonna do it, hey? We're not talking questions like what your usual people are asking, like Rob Tebbett or Coogan Cassis. We're talking real boxing questions. So when you're gonna come and do it, Eddie? You've got my email. I'm gonna send you my new phone number today. Give me a ring, Eddie. Don't you be a bottle job. Hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big porky here. And still, you know, you know. Right, uh, it's that time again. You know what time that is, don't you? Weapon of the week. Weapon of the week. <laughs> now, it was a close one this week between Billy Joe Saunders and David Allen, the white rhino. And I'm going to go with David Allen for the simple reason he loves stuff like this and he'll be like laughing his head off. But he's not got a belt. And he's calling out Yui Fury and David Price on IFL five weeks ago. If I come back it'll have to be for David Price rematch or Yui Fury. So, they're not going to put him in with David Price. Uh 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 uh. Because David Price won every minute of 30 minutes against David and punched him upside down and put him in hospital and freaked, his head, freaked him out. Probably freaked me out watching it. It was awful to watch. I mean, why why Darren Barker never pulled him out after, after round five? I don't know. It, they were awful to watch. So they're not going to put me with David Price because if he ends up a cabbage, everybody will say to Sky and match them, we told you. So that fight, that fight's not going to happen. That dog will not hunt. Right, so that's gone. So that leaves him with Yui, who we called out. So I rung Peter Fury and I said, Dave Allen's called Yui out. He went, we'd take that fight in a heartbeat. There you go. So I did the video. The video went out. They spoke to MTK, MTK spoke to Dave Allen, MTK got to, to Yui, said do you want the fight, Yui said yes please, they rung Dave Allen, do you want the fight, he went how much am I getting, they told him and he went oh I want more, so they said oh well we don't know if it's there, so Dave said well I'll leave it then, day after he slept on it and thought oh where am I going now, I don't have a belt, wrong MTK up and I don't know what's been happening since it's all a bit of a mess he's done something with Yui online on IFL blah de blah and I've got respect and this and that a lot of respect spoke look it's all a load of crap it's a load of crap weapon of the week behavior you don't have an area belt Dave but you're dictating about purses on the strength of what what Beating Nick Webb. I've been beat since then. When you get opportunities, you've got to take them with both hands. I understand that you got paid crap against Ortiz, but that's just how it goes. Yui never got paid for the Parker fight. Yui never got one pound for that Parker fight. They took it for the opportunity. They rolled the dice. You got robbed as well. Point I want to make, Dave, is this. You have not won an area belt. Cash Alley is an area champion or former area champion. He's got a belt. 
You've not won a belt. Tom Little's not won a belt. So your level is Tom Little. Tom Little. But Tom Little is area stroke English level. What level are you, Dave? If, Dave, if Daniel DeBar is British champion, he beats David Price, doesn't he? David Price beat you for 10 rounds, 3 minutes a round. So if David Price is not British level, because DeBar is, what level are you if David Price beat you? I, I don't know. It'd have to be fantastic matchmaking to get you a British title. So, what do you do now? You're in a predicament where you've you took fights just to get good hidings. Tony Yoka, Dylan White. David Price, Ortiz, you've had good ideas and been brave, but there's more to boxing than being brave. Take the Yui Fury fight and move on. Peter and Yui offered you 25,000 of their purse. 25,000 pounds, so Yui's dipping 25 grand on his money, and he's saying, yeah, that's for you, Dave. So why ain't the fight happening? Why aren't you coming out and letting the fans know? That you've messed Yui and Peter and MTK about. Messing about. I think we had this with the bar fight. You get offered all that money to fight the bar, and then you want another the bar, and then you want another hundred. Darren Barker and Eddie Earn told me to ask for another hundred grand. So you ask for that, they say no. Darren Barker then says, I think you should retire. But you'd have been willing to train you for his cut or that kind of money, wouldn't it? Yeah, I want 350 grand to fight the bar and I've not won an area title. Oh my god! That's Super 6 money! That is unbelievable. So, Dave Allen, weapon of the week for not taking the Yui Fury fight. I don't want to hear about its politics and this and that. All I'm seeing is somebody who just wants to be in media, who don't want to do any fighting. Fighting, man. Fighting, man, but not fighting. You're offered good money to fight Debar, you're offered an you're offered good money to fight Yui, plus an extra 25, and I don't see any fighting going on. All I see are Dorian Darchers and Hungarian plumbers. I don't who was your best win? Nick Webb. Nick Webb, Lucas Brown. Come on. You're better than that, Dave. You're better than that. But you've put yourself in this situation where you're the guy they go to, oh it's Dave, he's funny on social media. When you're coming out to the ring, I don't know what's going through your head. I don't know what's going through your head, David. So, so, weapon of the week for messing people about in boxing. Messing them about. You, get, you become a messer in boxing and people don't get no respect. If you want respect, go back to the beginning and fight Tom Little, Cash Alley, earn an area belt, then go for an English belt, then a Commonwealth and work your way through the levels. There's six levels, David. Area, English, British, Commonwealth, European, world. Work your way through them and find your level. Don't just be a 9-0 and o guy. Oh, I'll fight Lewis Ortiz, Eddie. Just give me journeyman money. What? You end up with less than what some of them Polish and Hungarian guys would have got. Less. Eddie Hernan got your best interests at heart. If he did, he wouldn't be putting an undefeated kid 9-0 and in a draw in with Luis Ortiz, would he? Who technically what WBA interim champion at the time, wasn't he? Why, how did that fight even get passed? I don't know, but it's the curious case of Dave Allen's career. There's no shortcuts to success. There isn't. There's thousands of people in jail thinking there's shortcuts to success. There is not. You've got to put the graft in. You've got to do what world champions do. Clinton Woods, Carl Froch, Robin Reed. They get up in the morning. They train hard. They train like tro Trojans. They eat correctly and they're in bed at 10pm or 9pm. They're not on social media till 4am chatting about lion bars and whatever people your age chat about, David. Get your head down in the gym. Don't be a weapon. Get your head down and go from the beginning. Be matched correctly. Take crap money and build up. 
Because if, it, if it's not about money, why don't you take the UE fight? You said it's not about money. Well, take the fight. They're offering you an extra 25. Or is it now about belts? Because if it's about belts, go start again and go through the levels. It's not rocket science. Fights don't happen because fighters don't want to fight or they want too much money. I think you want too much money. I'd have you down as wanting to fight, but if you can pinch money by being in public eye and not fighting, that's good, isn't it? But if Huey beats you, and he, I think he does beat you, David, Eddie Hearn will bring you back because you're funny on social media, aren't you? You're Dave Allen, you're the rhino, white rhino. So you're a weapon this week, Dave. Weapon of the week for coming out with all that that you've been coming out with. It's been utter rubbish. I don't... You need to come out, ring your mate up, Coogan Cassius, you know, you're an MTK guy, ring MTK, MTK, whatever they're called, PR guy up, come on and say, why it didn't happen? Is Eddie um, blanking you? Or what? I think they're just paying lip service to fans. Coming out with all that we need an opponent for, Katie Taylor, if she fights this person or that person, all depends on that. Load of rubbish, load of rubbish. Besides that, I think that if you fight Yui, it should be a Sky headline fight. Not pay-per-view, but just a normal Saturday night headliner. So maybe that might be better, maybe it might be better down the line, but you need to come out and sort it and say why it ain't happening and admit to being a messer. You weapon of the week. Right, David, peace out. Keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing. Another thing, David, it's no good walking up Cunningsbury Viaducts. It's no good doing that, mate. Get running. All right, run. Run till you can't run no more. Get fit. I don't want to be having this conversation when you're like this in another 10 years when you're 38. Oh, no, 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 could have could, could, been, could, could, could have been, and run have been. Coulda, woulda, shoulda's no good, is it? Do it now before it's too late. Do it now before it's too late. All right? Peace out. <laughs> you liked that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me, porkycorner at mail.com, alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging, alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>